Hi, since last week's video on advanced Cubase automation was quite long, this week a quick and short video on how to convert audio to MIDI in Cubase. So let's go. Now extracting MIDI from audio can be very useful in some situations. For example, if you want to layer samples on top of a live recorded drum track, you can extract MIDI events for all the individual drum hits and then let them trigger samples that you can layer on top of your live recorded drums. This is a bit of a special case though, so I have a separate video on that which I will link in the description below. In this video I will focus on extracting MIDI from monophonic audio recording so that you can layer another instrument on top that will play the same pitches. So let's have a look in Cubase. Now, as an example, I'm using a vocal recording of a new song of my band The Wash called No Silence and we just released a video clip last week for this song and next week we will have the album released which contains this song so check out the links in the description for that. Let's have a listen. King sky is crying My wheel stuck in the dirt On this mountain a new river was born I'm using a vocal here as an example, but of course it can be any instrument like a guitar, saxophone, whatever you would like. Although a vocal is particularly tricky because of all the small inflections and variations in pitch that are present in a vocal. And in this case I would like to layer this vocal with a bit of a robotic vocal sound. So let's have a look, because that vocal sound is provided by Hellion Sonic and is called Robotic Voice. And it sounds like this. Yeah, nothing like the real vocal and it doesn't really fit to this vocal and this song either, but it's a nice example to use. So the way to extract MIDI from this audio is by first opening the sample editor by double clicking on this event and then going to Vary Audio and you can click Edit Vary Audio. Now let's have a look at the full range. Now I have already analyzed the audio, but when you're opening this for the first time, Vary Audio will take some time to analyze your audio and only then show the pitches that you see over here. Now, as you can see over here, there's lots of different pitches indicated by the various segments. And even within a segment, there are slight pitch variations indicated by the white line in there. And for now, I'm just going to leave this vocal as is. I'm not going to do any tuning with Vary Audio. I just want to extract the MIDI from it as is. And that can be done over here. Choose function, extract MIDI. Now there's various options here to extract pitch. So we're going to try the first one first, which says just notes and no pitch band data. So this means that every segment here in Vary Audio will just be converted into one single MIDI note without any pitch band information. Volume mode, I'm choosing dynamic velocity because I do want loud and soft to be in the MIDI data, in the velocity of the MIDI data. And as a destination, I'm selecting first selected track because I know I have already selected the track with Hellion Sonic on there. So let's OK this and close the sample editor. And as you can see, I now have MIDI on my robot voice track. So let's listen to what this sounds like. King, sky is crying. My wheel stuck in the dirt. On this mountain, a new river was born. So it's an approximation. You don't hear the small pitch inflections in the voice. Let's have a look at the MIDI. If I open the MIDI in the MIDI editor, yeah, you basically see a copy of the very audio MIDI segments. And let's see which controller data is available. So only the velocity because I selected dynamic velocity for generating MIDI. So this velocity basically represents the loudness of the vocal when it was singing the pitches. Now next option, let's get rid of this one. And again, go into the sample editor of Vary Audio and choose extract MIDI. And this time I'm going for the next option being notes and static pitch band data. I'm selecting a default pitch band range of 2 because I know that Hellion Sonic has also been set to pitch band range of 2. The volume mode, again dynamic velocity. And I again would like the MIDI on the first selected track. So let's listen to what this brings. King, sky is crying. My wheel stuck in the dirt. On this mountain a new river was born. So you hear that there's now a bit more pitch variation. So let's have a look at the MIDI. So the actual notes over here are the same. The velocity data that we're seeing is the same. But you see that you now also have pitch band information over here. And you basically see one pitch band event for every note in the MIDI data. 
And that's because of the option that we chose in the MIDI extraction, notes and static pitch band data. So one pitch band for each note. So these pitch bands actually represent how much the vocal was deviating from the actual real exact pitch. Now let's get rid of this again and choose another option for extracting the MIDI data. Extract MIDI notes and continuous pitch band data. And right now the dialog is saying this data requires a pitch band range of at least 11 semitones. So it probably detected, yes, over here there's a bit of a spike here, which seems unrealistic. So let's have a quick look at this spike. Yeah, it basically goes an octave up. So let me cut this pitch segment here and just get rid of it. It doesn't mean that the actual note is gone, but it means that very audio is not considering this note anymore when correcting pitch. So let's now again do the extract MIDI and again choose notes and continuous pitch band data. Okay, so it still sees a deviation of five semitones somewhere, which could be the case. So let's increase the pitch band range to five. Okay, so we again see a generated MIDI track. However, because we adjusted the pitch band range, we should also do that in Hellion Sonic. We can go to the edit tab and over here you can see the pitch band down up range. So it was generated with five. So let's set it to five here as well to match. And let's see how this sounds now. King sky is crying. My wheel stuck in the dirt. On this mountain a new river was born. So you can already hear that there's now even more pitch variations. So let's have a look at the MIDI. And yes, right now you can see that the MIDI notes over here are the same. The velocity data is the same, but the pitch band data over here is much more detailed. And in fact, it's now trying to follow the little white curve that we saw in the very audio display. Now, if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I publish another video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can use the super thanks button below the video or buy anything at these stores via the affiliate links in the description below. Now this also wraps up this video on converting audio to MIDI. And as you can see, I was using Very Audio as part of this, but Very Audio is also very useful for tuning vocals or any instrument for that matter. And I have a separate video about that that you can check out over here. Have a look, enjoy, and see you soon. Mm -hmm.